children. This is Dame May Whitty with her golden box. The golden box of fairy tales. Listen now, closely. From around my neck on its silken strand, I take the magic key. I unlock the box, so... And out comes the story of Rapunzel. Once upon a time, there lived a man and his wife who'd hoped for a long, long while, and oh, so very, very much for a little girl. And at last, the woman knew that her dream was coming true. Now, behind the house of this man and woman was a beautiful garden, and it was filled with lovely flowers and plants and vegetables. But the garden wasn't theirs, no, indeed. It was surrounded by a high, forbidding wall, and it belonged... To a witch. Yes, a strange, mysterious woman named Gothel, who wove wicked spells. Well, one day, while the woman was waiting for her baby to come, she was peering out of her upstairs window, which overlooked the garden of the witch. And there below her she saw a bed of Rapunzel. Now, Rapunzel, in case you don't know, is a salad like lettuce, only many, many times more delicious. And like all salads, very good for you. Well, the Rapunzel there in the garden below her looked so green, so tender, so altogether delicious, that the woman said to her husband, I simply must have some of that Rapunzel. What, cried the man, quaking in his boots. But that's impossible, my love. You know that garden belongs to Gothel, the witch. Yes, I do know, the woman answered. And yet, if I don't somehow eat some of that exquisite mouth-watering Rapunzel... I shall surely perish. And she gave such a sigh that her husband saw he must indeed get a bowl of the salad, no matter what the cost. So, very late that night, when the moon slipped under a cloud, the man climbed over the wall and into the witch's garden. Stealthily, he crept to the bed of Rapunzel, scarcely breathing he bent down towards the luscious leaves, and just as his hand was about to pluck some of it there, above him, looking down like a coal blue flame, stood Gothel the witch. Man, she cried, how dare you come into my garden to steal my precious Rapunzel? Although he was almost tongue-tied with terror, he managed somehow to tell the witch how his wife hungered for the salad, how indeed, if she didn't have some, she'd surely die. Gothel listened, and yes, she even felt a little pity. I see, she said. Very well. I let your wife have the Rapunzel, all you can carry. But, well, to hear what she said then, you better put on the next record very quickly.